Alright, 2015 Viper XTX LE. It's going to be just a quick walk around and my opinion thus far on it. First off, the colors look awesome. That's all I have to say. I have not had a chance to ride it yet due to the fact that I just picked it up. And even though it's late December, we still don't have any snow here in Wisconsin. We had more snow and colder weather in the month of November than we have the whole month of December. Kind of sucks. The handlebar riser, I do like. It's To me, it seems like it'd be stronger than just extending it up from the base. Fully digital gauges. Kind of neat, you get your time and altitude and all that. I have a turbo kit coming for this in the MPI trail kit, 180 horse kit. I'm waiting on it. It was supposed to show up in November, but it's still not here and trying to get anything out of the factory. Feels like pulling teeth. Can't really figure out where it's at. So I guess when it comes, it comes, I guess. I bought that on the spring order deal. Way, way cheaper than what the normal price was for it. It's got Fox Float 3s in the front. And I suppose probably Fox Float 3s in the back too. But the the RTX had Fox Float Evos. I kind of wanted that sled, but I really wanted the taller handlebar riser. I do stand up most of the time anyways. It's got two and a quarter lug, which is probably a little extreme for Wisconsin. See how I only go up to the deep snow maybe once or twice a year. But like I said, I wanted this XTX because I, I I came from a Nitro XTX, so I know that sled. I wanted this handlebar riser. I do wish it would have came with tuner skis like the uh, other models, but it is what it is. This is just got the regular part of kit. Ski um, that I'm not a big fan of. So, the exhaust itself does in fact say already cat on it. I guess we'll open that up. See that? Let's see if they can see that. But, it's okay. already cat. We say, like I said with the turbo, so that'll be gone now. MPI. That ain't so bad. We did quite a is they make last few changes from the year's models. I think they create to the teacher if they 15 inch or if at least like that. I'm not sure, but there is a change here. My if it was already pretty cat, doesn't that it's just a vent hole. But he's already there is a not have screw keeping but right here. Thumb for taking the stuff. I think that was under the gap here. It's a plastic snow on the seal latches, but you don't get filled. Oh, it's not protective. It should look freaking cool. Very much like the deep metallic blue. It's it's soft. But I don't think I'm gonna be like changing that. Even even if I get cold and my shield fogs up and freezes, it's too cool to get rid of. Uh, plain and simple. Bumper. I might upgrade to a different bumper. Something more beefy looking. Bags. I, I, I miss my handlebar bag that I had in my Nitro. I absolutely loved it. It was great for maps and whatever. This one, I don't know how well it go to mount a bag. A power mat, mad bag, I was thinking about. I don't know if it would fit between the grab bar. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Maybe I can have one custom made or something to fit in there. You got this little bag in the back here. It's kind of generic for your belt and tool kit. That'll probably be gone and I'll probably... Upgrade. I saw that they have a uh, rack that you can put on there and put a little jerry can and another bigger bag there. So I might do that. Might. It's about a hundred bucks for the base and I forget what it was for the bag and jerry can. The seat is trimmer than it is on the other models. Um, in my opinion, it looks better this way. But it's it's really dealer's choice. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. It's still a really long seat. But it just doesn't have that fin coming off of it there. The orange, I wasn't sure at first about the orange. Just because Cat and they have a lot of orange in their sleds. 
but with the blue and the black it looks pretty damn good I'm not gonna lie all I'm waiting on is that damn turbo kit and kick up the power might as well start it up for you guys Eat. Yama, four stroke. You can see the digital gauges, got miles, zero miles as you can see, it's brand new, just just got it home. I only had 1500 RPM. Got it from Sheboygan Yama. Good guys over there. I've had nothing but luck with them. They're all great. They know me by name when I walk in the door. I love them guys. So if you're looking for a good place to buy Yamaha, Skidoo, whatever, whatever you're looking for, check them out if you're in the uh, Sheboygan, Manitowoc area. Headlight, relatively bright. My last flat had, had HM, or whatever them brighter headlights are. Might convert over those. We did my buddy sled, it was a royal pain in the ass to install. But, so I'll think about that one. They say the turbo kit's exhaust is quieter than the stock, so this is relatively loud. I think it's louder than my nitro was. With this stock exhaust. Speaking of that. That's what's left of my nitro exhaust. Check that out. That is the Excel pipe that was on my nitro that I had and it, it, it got all dinged up and it was leaking and it was not pretty. It was a really expensive exhaust that the previous owner put on it but it did not hold up for crap. I ended up with 8,500 miles on that sled before I traded in for this one. It was a good sled. Don't get me wrong, There's a, it's obvious that I kind of liked it because I came back to the Yamaha because I went to that fr fr from this here to IQ to that. This, the motor blew up on after a little over 4,000 miles we got on it, the 600 HO IQ. Kept that so I got the nitro and then got rid of the nitro to get this one. I only ran the nitro for two years. So I'm hoping that this one is going to handle a little bit better than that nitro. Oh yeah, if you do have a nitro or want to get a used nitro or anything, I highly, highly, highly recommend the tuner skis. They make a world of difference. I ran my first season with just the CA skis that the previous owner had put on them, and it just, it, it was just too much ski pressure. It was a bear to turn. It just did not cor like corning. I put the tuner skis on it with, uh, what was it, sixes and zeros, and the thing handled like a whole lot better. And that's saying a lot for having a 144 inch track that was studded. Turned a hell of a lot better with them skis. Depending on how this thing handles, I may or may not put them on here. I realize it's not much of a, it's not really a trail sled, but I still run, most of my riding is on trail. I put on average of 1,500 miles a year is about it. I, I suppose for a lot of people that's not much, but for around here, seeing how we don't get a lot of snow down here. Normally we have had snow right down here at this time, but it's weather's just not cooperating this year. It's kind of driving me nuts and the rest of us nuts because I'm not the only one with my group that bought a new sled this year I got a bud two buddies that bought Nitro X RTX's this year I'm like I get my mind and they both pick, get ones like what the hell is up with you guys I got another buddy with a turboed Articat 1100 LTA it's the short the 136 or 137 wherever that is and I'm putting a turbo on this thing just so I can keep up with his ass he's running around 260 horse with his, he upgraded it. So, I think it's pretty cool. Can't wait to get out on the snow with it. I'm going to the UP for New Year's. They got a little bit of snow. They don't got as much snow as I'd like, but at least it'll be enough to get out on the trail a little bit ride. Still waiting on, I mean, right now it's like 42 degrees out here. So that's not real good for being, what is it? December 23rd, right before Christmas here. Yeah, not, not good at all. Other than that, this sled, man, it looks looks awesome. It feels relatively comfortable. The handlebars, 
they're almost the perfect height. I prefer them to be like literally an inch taller, just an inch taller so I have slack in my arms when I'm standing on it. But I think otherwise I'm not changing them. They're pretty good the way they are. As far as controls go, I am extremely thankful for this button right here. I, I hated my lever on my nitro. I had it just to jump in and out of gear on me. I heard I was used with the royal pain in the ass. But I have heard issues on the chain case. I hope with this reverse on here. Hope they sorted through a lot for this year. My buddy, pretty kid. I know I heard people that had that problem. Or Cody had that problem with his art. It even, and then you got air hands popping up for it. Simplest. Yeah, they, my more. I do kind of like this set uh, video of these. The whole my, uh, on nitro. I have nice uh, digital one. You did, which is which was I you know, but it was wasn't so easy. By the way, just on the floor. I have a nitro. A nitro, uh, and you, you once again, if you like the show, I want to get hers. You want to show a little hotter, you don't for you hand warm, cold, uh, and make them a little heater or a little cool. Rock, uh, get a he help of a uh, yacht with them. rock up there. He, I, I hang out a lot. 81 my nitro. My, my weren't work at arrow code, sort through it, and, and the phone with me. My hand warmer was one's like, and I had to check this. Check. He got on the on speaker for the check, check, and check this with the this is what you with the fix it. Ohm meter, he was real. It's like, yeah, so you gotta do to check him out. Like, all right, you're helpful. See you out with anything. Warmers with your Yama heat. It'll help your hand warm. Uh -huh. Also, is the wheels you put underneath uh, here. this thing good to roll it around the garage. If you if you don't have these sled, you want some but don't go cheap. Cheap ones break almost instantly. Cheap bend the wheels will be just off. Go with the thicker the gauge ones like the buses. The best way to know is if they cost more, it's better. If you pick up the box and it's heavy, it's better, holy shit, this is heavy. Then those are probably the good ones you should get. Like, these I like a lot more. I've had some shitty ones. I like these. I don't even know what brand they are. I know I got them from Fleet Farm. That's about it. The nice tuning fork emblem. Gotta love the emblem. I'm thinking about getting that tattooed somewhere, you know, arm or something. You know, just because I'm starting to love Yamaha more and more. Yeah, check out the suspension down in there. It's really, really skeletonized the rails there. I did think going with a Nextex, Nextech carbon fiber suspension. Louis from Power Mods always talks so highly of it, but that's just a lot of money for me to buy it off for this. So I'll let that go. I mean, that's that's more money than my turbo is. So I think I'll let I'll go without that. The rear bumper. Okay, this is the issue. I did not like about my buddy's sled last year. We were playing around in about six feet of snow last year. He buried his, and you there is not much real estate to grab on these rear bumpers. You only have this little area on each side, and with gloved hands, it's a bear to get them in there. That's the one thing I do not like, because the way the mud flap comes out, you can't get through there. I wish there was a, some way to fix that. I don't really see a way other than make, getting a rack on the back here that has a bar to grab onto. Yeah, but especially when this sled's way down in a hole and you're trying to pick it up and move it, it's it's just rough. Doesn't work the greatest. But we'll see how it is. One thing that I do also like about this Articat chassis is these running boards. They seem to be quite a bit stronger than a lot of the other brands I see out there. Especially uh, Skidoo for instance. I like Skidoo. I've never had a Skidoo, but every time I look at them and I like them, I always thought about getting one. But I can't get over how chimsy the running boards are. They're so light duty, and it just seemed like I could bend them, you know. Same thing with Polaris, I guess, on some level. Yeah. This gas cap, probably going to be getting rid of that. Going to the aluminum one just because I had it on my nice shirt, and I thought it was the coolest thing. I know it's just a random thing, but... It, I, I liked my aluminum gas cap, it was cool. And then uh, the guys at the shop always tell me, yeah, be careful, you should carry that cap in a plastic one, just so you screw on the plastic one when you put, leave your stud outside so it doesn't get stolen. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I never thought about it. It's like a $70 gas cap. I mean, that's a little excessive for a gas cap, but uh, cool. Yeah, my Nitro had all kinds of aluminum accessories on it. That's kind of the reason I bought it. The guys stuck a lot of money into it. But I think I only run it for two years and time to upgrade. This sled originally I thought, oh, this sled might be a little bit lighter than my Nitro, but now that I'm putting a turbo on it, it ain't gonna be so much lighter anymore. But it'll have a lot more power. 
You know, that's about what I got, all I got for you guys out there in the YouTube world. This is like one of my rare videos I post. I don't post a whole lot on there. I figured I'd post this. My new sled. So, this is Compact, aka Chris. The Three Amigos. Out. I think, trying to get out. How do you stop?